Imagine being just a teenager standing on the brink of adulthood and finding yourself face you to face with one of the most brutal regimes in history. Today, we dive into the life of Lepa Radic, the courageous young girl who became a symbol of resistance during World War II. Welcome to History Flicks, where we uncover the stories of the past that continue to inspire us today. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and join our journey through history's most compelling tales. Lepa Radic was born on December 19, 1925, in the small village of Gaznica, in what was then the Kingdom of Yugoslavia. Her family was modest, working the land and living a simple rural life. From an early age, Lepa was known for her intelligence and determination. She excelled in her studies and was particularly influenced by her uncle Vladeta Radic, a dedicated communist revolutionary. Vladeta's stories of struggle and resistance deeply resonated with young Lepa, planting the seeds of defiance that would later blossom during the darkest days of World War II. As Lepa grew up, her country underwent significant political and social changes. The interwar period in Yugoslavia was marked by political instability, ethnic tensions, and the rise of nationalist movements. The Radic family, however, maintained a strong sense of community and solidarity, values that would play a crucial role in Lepa's life. In April 1941, the Axis powers, led by Nazi Germany, invaded Yugoslavia. The swift and brutal invasion shattered the tranquility of Lepa's homeland. Yugoslavia was dismembered, with parts of it annexed or occupied by neighboring countries and Nazi collaborators. The people of Yugoslavia faced immense suffering, with mass executions, forced labor, and brutal repression becoming everyday realities. For many, including Lepa, this marked the beginning of a fight for survival and freedom. At just 15 years old, Lepa joined the Yugoslav Partisans, a communist-led resistance movement that fought against the Axis occupiers. The Partisans were known for their bravery and resilience, often operating in harsh conditions and conducting guerrilla warfare against the far superior Axis forces. Lepa quickly proved herself to be a dedicated and resourceful member of the Partisans. Despite her young age, she took on significant responsibilities, including organizing resistance activities and helping to smuggle supplies and information. Her courage and leadership did not go unnoticed, and she became a respected figure within her unit. Lepa's involvement in the resistance was not without risk. The partisans were constantly on the move, operating from remote mountain hideouts and facing continuous threats from Axis forces and their collaborators. Lepa's family was also targeted by the occupiers, and many of her relatives were arrested or killed. Yet, despite the dangers, Lepa remained steadfast in her commitment to the cause. By the age of 17, Lepa was actively involved in combat operations. She participated in numerous skirmishes and sabotage missions, often displaying remarkable bravery. Her dedication to the cause was unwavering, and she inspired many of her peers to join the fight against the occupiers. One of her most notable actions was her involvement in the Battle of Kazara in the summer of 1942. The Kazara Offensive was a major Axis operation aimed at crushing the partisan resistance in western Bosnia. Despite being heavily outnumbered and outgunned, the partisans, including Lepa, put up a fierce resistance. The battle was brutal, with significant casualties on both sides, but it demonstrated the resilience and determination of the Yugoslav resistance. In February 1943, during a fierce battle against the Nazis in the Grmek area, Lepa was captured. She was fighting alongside her comrades, providing cover for their retreat when she was surrounded by enemy forces. Even in captivity, Lepa's defiance never wavered. She endured brutal interrogations but refused to betray her comrades, embodying the spirit of resistance that defined the partisan movement. The Nazis decided to make an example of her. On February 8, 1943, Lepa Radic was sentenced to death by hanging. The execution was carried out in the town of Bosanska Krupa. As she stood on the gallows, facing her executioners, she delivered her final act of defiance. When offered a chance to save her life in exchange for the names of her comrades, she refused, declaring that her comrades would reveal themselves when they avenged her death. 
Her last words were a testament to her unwavering spirit and commitment to the cause. Long live the Communist Party and partisans. Fight, people, for your freedom. Do not surrender to the evildoers. They will be destroyed. Leporodic's bravery has not been forgotten. She has been posthumously honoured with numerous awards, including the Order of the People's Hero, one of the highest decorations in Yugoslavia. Her story is a powerful reminder of the impact one individual can have, even in the face of overwhelming odds. Lepa's legacy extends beyond her heroic resistance against the Nazis. Her story is a testament to the strength of the human spirit and the enduring fight for justice and freedom. In the face of tyranny, she stood firm, showing that age and circumstance do not define one's capacity for bravery. Lipa Raditz's story is just one of many that we explore here on History Flicks. If you're inspired by tales of courage and resilience, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss an episode. Join us as we continue to uncover the extraordinary lives that have shaped our world. Today, Lepa Radic is remembered not only as a martyr, but as a symbol of youthful defiance against oppression. Her story is taught in schools, and her image is revered in museums and memorials. She inspires new generations to stand up for what is right, no matter the cost. Lepa was not alone in her fight. Thousands of young men and women joined the partisans, risking their lives for the hope of a free and just world. Their collective efforts significantly contributed to the eventual liberation of Yugoslavia and the defeat of the Axis powers in the region. The sacrifices made by Lepa and her fellow partisans were instrumental in turning the tide of war in Yugoslavia. Their determination and bravery helped to forge a path to freedom for their nation, and their legacy continues to inspire resistance movements worldwide. What do you think about Lepa Radic's incredible story? Do you know of other young heroes who stood up against tyranny? Let us know in the comments below. And remember, by subscribing to History Flicks, you're supporting the preservation and sharing of these important historical narratives. Let's take a moment to delve deeper into Lepa's early influences and the environment that shaped her indomitable spirit. Lepa's uncle, Vladeta Radic, was a significant figure in her life. A dedicated communist and revolutionary, Vladeta was actively involved in the communist movement in Yugoslavia, advocating for social justice and equality. His commitment to these ideals had a profound impact on young Lepa, who admired his courage and dedication. Growing up, Lepa was exposed to the harsh realities of life under a repressive regime. The economic and social disparities in Yugoslavia, coupled with the political instability, fueled her desire for change. Her family's discussions around the dinner table often revolved around the need for justice and resistance against oppression. These conversations, combined with her uncle's influence, instilled in her a strong sense of duty and a belief in the importance of standing up for what is right. Lipa's education also played a crucial role in shaping her worldview. She was an avid reader and a diligent student, always eager to learn about history and politics. Her teachers recognized her potential and often encouraged her to pursue her interests. This academic curiosity, coupled with her innate sense of justice, made her a natural leader among her peers. When the Axis invasion began in 1941, the already volatile situation in Yugoslavia worsened dramatically. The brutality of the occupation was felt deeply in rural areas like Gaznica. Lepa witnessed firsthand the atrocities committed by the occupiers, including mass executions, forced labor, and the persecution of anyone suspected of resistance. These experiences further solidified her resolve to fight back. Joining the partisans was a significant step for Lepa. It meant leaving behind her family and the relative safety of her home to join a group of fighters living under constant threat. The partisans were a diverse group, including men and women of all ages and backgrounds, united by their commitment to resisting the occupiers. Lepa quickly adapted to the harsh conditions of guerrilla warfare, proving herself to be both resourceful and courageous. Her responsibilities within the partisans were varied. 
She helped to coordinate attacks, gather intelligence, and distribute propaganda materials. One of her key roles was to act as a courier, delivering messages and supplies across enemy lines. This was incredibly dangerous work, as the risk of capture was high. Yet Lepa carried out her duties with unwavering determination, often going above and beyond what was expected of her. Lepa's involvement in the Battle of Kazara was a turning point in her resistance activities. The battle was one of the largest and most intense confrontations between the partisans and Axis forces in Yugoslavia. Despite being heavily outnumbered, the partisans managed to hold their ground for several weeks. Lepa's role in the battle was significant. She was involved in both combat and logistical support, ensuring that her comrades had the supplies and reinforcements they needed. The battle, though costly, showcased the resilience and determination of the partisans, and Lepa's contributions were invaluable. Her capture in February 1943 was a devastating blow to her unit. The circumstances of her capture highlight her bravery. She was providing cover for her comrades, ensuring their escape when she was surrounded and taken prisoner. Even in captivity, Lepa remained defiant. She was subjected to brutal interrogations, but she refused to give up any information about her comrades or their activities. The decision to execute Lepa was intended to serve as a warning to others who might consider joining the resistance. The Nazis believed that by publicly executing a young girl, they would deter others from following in her footsteps. However, Lepa's final act of defiance on the gallows had the opposite effect. Her refusal to betray her comrades and her stirring final words inspired many to join the resistance, seeing her as a martyr for the cause of freedom. Lepa's legacy continues to be honored in various ways. In addition to receiving the Order of the People's Hero, numerous schools, streets, and public buildings have been named in her honor. Her story is a fixture in the educational curriculum in many parts of the former Yugoslavia, ensuring that future generations remember her bravery and sacrifice. Her life and actions also serve as a powerful reminder of the role that young people can play in shaping history. Lepa was just a teenager, yet her actions had a profound impact on the resistance movement in Yugoslavia. Her story challenges us to consider our own capacity for courage and resistance in the face of injustice. In recent years, there has been a renewed interest in Lepa's story, with documentaries, books, and articles exploring her life and legacy. This renewed interest speaks to the enduring power of her story and its relevance in today's world. As we face new challenges and struggles for justice, Lepa Radit's life serves as a beacon of hope and inspiration. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the life of Lepa Radic. Be sure to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to History Flicks for more inspiring stories from the past. Until next time, remember to stay curious and keep exploring history's most remarkable moments.